Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Soros just got kicked out of California after what his liberal evil empire against Trump tried to do. New York billionaire George Soros did not count on the people of California to rise up against his regime to say no more. Despite George Soros' multi-million dollar effort to reshape the criminal justice system in California by propping up progressive district attorney candidates, that plan backfired in epic fashion this week as a significant amount of Soros-backed candidates suffered major defeats. Soros spent millions to influence the elections in an attempt to buy the elections for potential prosecutors who favor lower incarceration rates along with significant crackdowns on police misconduct. These Soros-backed candidates also favored significant changes in the current bail system that they claim unfairly discriminates against minorities and the poor. However, it seems that most of the millions went to waste as a significant number of Soros-backed candidates lost to more traditional law and order prosecutors that did not favor progressive policies but instead favor accountability for wrongdoing and have a much more positive attitude towards law enforcement. Fox News reports of the outcome of the recent California elections. In Sacramento County, District Attorney Anne Marie Schubert defeated Noah Phillips by a nearly two-to-one margin, getting 65 percent of the vote. Phillips led an insurgent campaign, attacking Schubert for failing to prosecute a police officer who shot a civilian. He reportedly received around $400,000 from Soros and admitted Soros' team scripted and paid for a TV ad during the campaign, the Los Angeles Times reported. His fundraising efforts received help from Carrie Tuna wife of Facebook co-founder Dustin Moskovitz, who contributed more than $650,000 to a political action committee led by Black Lives Matter activist Sean King. This is a good day for the people, Schubert told to a crowd of about 100 supporters after she won the election, the Sacramento Bee reported. You can't buy an election in the county of Sacramento. Here's to four more years. Genevieve Jones Wright, the Soros-favored candidate in San Diego County, also suffered a major defeat Tuesday. She got only 36 percent of the vote while her opponent, District Attorney Summer Stefan, received more than 60 percent. Soros spent more than $1.5 million in the race, funneling the money to a political action committee that propped up Jones' rights candidacy as she pledged to form a police misconduct unit and supported progressive reform of the criminal justice system. Stefan fought back against the influence of outside money in the race, declaring Soros backing a public safety threat. Jones' right, meanwhile, insisted the money merely gave a voice to minorities and poor people. In Alameda County, in the San Francisco Bay Area, District Attorney Nancy O'Malley fended off a challenge from Pamela Price, reportedly receiving more than 60 percent of the vote. O'Malley said she was surprised the outside donors tried to oust her, given that she's a registered Democrat and was endorsed by U.S. Senator Kamala Harris, Democrat California, organized labor and other Democratic groups. Soros PAC accused O'Malley during the campaign of implementing racist stop-and-frisk policies and Price criticized her for being cozy with law enforcement groups. But there was one victory for the wealthy liberals Tuesday. Progressive DA candidate Diana Becton received a majority of the votes in Contra Costa County, also in the Bay Area, though not enough to secure an outright victory. She will now face off against senior Deputy District Attorney Paul Graves, who came second, in a runoff election. Graves criticized the influence of wealthy outsiders, describing them as billionaires who apparently think Contra Costa's public safety is for sale. In other counties, such as Yolo County, Riverside County, and San Bernardino County, where wealthy donors also spent money, albeit on a significantly smaller scale, most progressives' candidates suffered defeats. One exception, reform-minded defense attorney Jason Anderson, who managed to win in San Bernardino County against Fordham DA Michael Ramos. Despite a few victories for Soros-backed candidates, the citizens of California sent a very clear message. They are clearly sick and tired of being expected to fund a government run amok that merely views the citizenry as mere tax cattle. California Governor Jerry Brown is the highest paid governor in the nation, yet Californians have little to show for it except more regulations and more taxes. This recent victory goes to show that good people can win. However, the citizenry of California also needs to take heed of this victory and note that they are far from done. They may have won a battle, but the war is not over. California did not fall into disarray overnight and neither will it be repaired overnight. They must stay diligent and continue working together towards the effort of taking their state back. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.